Former President Donald Trump under fire tonight after saying he would support Russia attacking U.S. allies that don't pay what he deems their fair share. I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. His comments threatening to upend the NATO alliance if he retakes the White House and sparking swift backlash from both sides of the aisle. The White House slamming the comments as appalling and unhinged. And this reaction from Mr. Trump's sole GOP opponent, Nikki Haley, on the campaign trail today. Trump said the most irresponsible thing. You certainly don't want to give them the right to invade a friend. Haley also firing back at Trump for questioning why her husband, who's deployed overseas, is not by her side. What happened to her husband? Where is he? He's gone. Donald Trump clearly doesn't understand that in South Carolina, we love our military men and women. The former South Carolina governor betting big on the Republican primary in her home state, despite trailing her former boss there by double digits. Haley trying to capitalize on the age gap between her and the race's two front runners. Do we really want to have a country in disarray and a world on fire and have two 80 year olds as our candidates? The issue of age, a political vulnerability of President Biden's, taking on a new significance in the days after the special counsel's report on Mr. Biden's handling of classified documents revealed scathing allegations about his memory struggles, which the president denies. He is sharp, intensely probing and detail oriented and focused. Biden's team on defense, blanketing the airwaves. And this kind of sense that he's not ready for this job is just a bucket of BS. The Biden team continues to dismiss recent polling, showing more than 70 percent of voters are concerned about the president's age. Kate. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.